All right, check that big board. The rally is strong and it is holding. Stocks are up big time on because of that jobs report and also because our president is going to meet Kim Jong-un. 27 of the Dow 30 are on the upside in the green and the Dow is up 250 points. David Barnson is with us, CIO of the Barnson Group and author of the new book, Crisis of Responsibility. I want, I want to zero in for a second because I, know, I want three individual stocks that you like and you say buy them now. There are three Dow components, and I'm going to start. I think McDonald's is the first. Go. It, it is, and, and it's a name we've held a long time. But, see, these names are selected, particularly McDonald's, as a result of what's happened over the last five or six weeks. This price deterioration has taken something that we thought was a little frothy. We're big believers in the fundamental story. The CEO is doing incredible work. They're a dividend grower, which is what we do. And yet the stock got cheap all of a sudden. It went from being modestly expensive to cheap in the course yeah. of a month. What was it, about 180? 180 on the high side. It's come down to 150. And now it's 156. Yeah. That's a real change in pace there. That's You're right. buying on the dip, basically. Very much so. Okay, next one is Procter & Gamble, one of the great names of American business. Is that also a stock that's come down and you think it's down too far? It is. And, and so there is a certain value play in there just in terms of uh, how much the stocks come down. But also we believe that the reason the reason the stock's dropped is because of the anticipation of higher input costs. Commodity prices going higher, maybe more inflation, fear of this you know, tariff issue, which we're fearful of as well. However, we believe Procter Gamble is committed to cutting expenses drastically. They have a $10 billion capital optimization plan. We like it a lot, studied it. We're buying Procter Gamble in the 80s. Okay, you're buying Procter & Gamble, you're buying McDonald's, and the last one is Walmart. So, you know, notice all three of these names have something in common, this per perpetual dividend growth. Walmart went public the year I was born. They've raised the dividend every single year since I was born, and we believe they're going to continue doing that. Is that, that true? It's every very single year they do that? Every single year. What's the yield on a Walmart stock? Well, right now, Walmart's yield is a two-handle, it, but that's because the stock price has grown up so much. They just announced another dividend increase. So if you look, we look at something called yield on original investment. Right. We put money in. What is it yielding to us for what we paid for it? Walmart is continually growing, as is Procter Gamble. You know, McDonald's, we're up over 300%. The dividend's up over 300% since we bought the stock. It's yielding 3.5% now. It was yielding 3.5% in 2009 when we bought it. So that's just what happens in our belief as these cash flows grow. Great Three big companies. names. You mentioned them all, and you didn't at all mention big tech. Now, that's interesting. Not this time. No, 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 but that was good stuff. Thanks, David. We appreciate it. Pleasure. Sir.